everybody welcome to live blogger in the last video we wrote the markup of the about us page that we are designing so this is the original design and uh, we have written the markup and uh, here is what we have right now now in this video we will add some css and make it look exactly like this so let's get started In our HTML, we have already linked our style.css file. So let's go directly to our style.css file and uh, let's start styling the page. The first thing we'll style is the about container division. We will set the maximum width to 900 pixels. And then we'll also set it to the center of the page. So for that, we will type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. So this will set it to the center. So if we maximize this window, we can see that now the about us page is in the middle of the screen. All right, now the next thing we'll do is set the font family. So we'll type font family of Roboto sans serif. All right, next we'll style the paragraph. So we'll type about container P. And uh, for the paragraph, we will set a line height of two Line height is basically the spacing between two lines of the paragraph. Then we'll also set a padding for the paragraph. So we'll set a padding of zero for top and bottom, 20 pixels for left and right. Now let's style the profile image. So we'll type about container profile image. Now profile image is the division that contains this image. So let's give a background and I'll show you the width. So now we can see that the width of profile image is 100% because it is a division. So here we can just type text align to center and the image will be centered. Let's remove this background and let's also give a padding of 30 pixels. Now let's style the image inside the profile image division. So we will type about container profile image IMG. We'll set a width of 200 pixels for the image and uh, also set a border radius. So we want the image to be round in shape. So we'll set a border radius of 50%. And then we'll also give a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.4. Now we can see the box shadow is applied to the image, but we want to have a space between the image and the shadow. So we can add a padding and we'll set a padding of 8 pixels. Now we can see that the image is styled correctly. Now the next thing we'll style is the project container. So this is the project container. So let's go ahead and uh, type projects container and we'll set the display to flex so that the elements will be one next to the other and uh, justify content to the center and we'll also give it a padding of 8 pixels and I will give a box shadow of 0 pixels, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, negative 6 pixels, and RGBA 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.4. Now let's set a maximum width of 550 pixels. And uh, we'll set it to the center and we'll give a margin of 24 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And we'll also give a border radius of 20 pixels now inside the projects container division we have division called project for websites designed and apps developed so let's target that projects container project and we will set a height of 160 pixels and width of 200 pixels and we'll also set the display to flex so that uh, we can center it horizontally and vertically align items to the center and justify content to the center and now we can see that website design is on the left and the number is on the right we will change the direction so that uh, the number is at the bottom of this uh, heading so we'll set the flex direction to column now the number should be below the heading but uh, we have some problem in our HTML so let's go back to the HTML and uh, we have the project division over here and uh, we are closing the division right here. So this line of code should be inside this project division. So let's bring it up. 
and uh, we will bring this one up as well right now everything is working all right let's go back to style.css and we'll also give a margin of 0 for top and bottom 32 pixels for left and right now let's target the project name so we'll type project container project name and we'll set the font size to 16 pixels right now let's target the project number and we'll set the font size to 72 pixels and set the font weight to bold now let's target the our team heading so we'll type our team heading this is the class that we are given to the heading we'll first of all text align it to the center and the text transform to uppercase and then set the font size to 48 pixels and also padding top of 64 pixels all right that's it with the our team heading now let's target these uh, team members so he will type our team and uh, we'll set the display to flex so that there'll be one next to the other and a padding of 30 pixels now we need to change the width of these images so that it won't go off screen so let's go ahead and type our team and uh, img and then we'll set the width of these images to 100 percent all right now let's have a little bit of spacing between these team members so we'll type our team team member and we'll give a margin of 0 and 4 pixels now we'll style the designation division which contains the name and the designation we'll place it relative to the image so we'll set a position of relative here in team member and when we set the position of the parent division to relative and then if you set the position of the child element to absolute then it will be positioned relative to the parent element so we'll type our team and designation and he will type position absolute and we'll set the bottom position to 50 pixels and uh, background color of white we'll also set a padding of 12 pixels and 20 pixels and a border radius of 0 20 pixels 20 pixels and 0 and we'll also add a box shadow of 0 4 pixels 8 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.4 Let's decrease the font size a little bit. So we'll set the font size to 14 pixels. And uh, we'll also change the bottom position a little bit. We'll set it to 30 pixels. All right, now it looks fine. Now let's style the our mission division. So here we'll type about container our mission. And we'll set a padding of 20 pixels and we'll set the position to relative so that we can position this code icon correctly so here we'll type about container our mission code icon and we'll set the position to absolute and uh, we'll set the opacity to 0 0.2 and uh, there's a typo over here our mission and uh, we also need to add the class code icon to our HTML so here for the image we'll add a class called code icon all right now the styles are being applied and uh, we'll set a height of 80 pixels now let's style the our mission text so we'll type about container our mission p and we'll set a margin left of 100 pixels and the font size of 20 pixels and we'll also set the font style to italic and we have one more typo over here for our mission so let's fix it all right now the padding and everything is working all right and now we'll also make it responsive so when we have a width of the screen of less than 700 pixels then uh, we will set these team members one below the other and we'll also change the size of these images 
so let's go over here and uh, in our CSS here we will type at media and we'll type max width of 700 pixels so now the following code will only work if the width of the screen is less than 700 pixels so let's go over here and right click and click on inspect and let's minimize this now if you resize the browser then you can see the width of the browser window over here on the top right so let's set it less than 700 so let's set it over here around 575 so here we will type our team and we'll set the flex direction to column and align items to the center and we'll also change the size of these images so we'll type our team img and we'll set the height to 250 pixels and width to 300 pixels and since these images are now stretched we can use a property called object fit to cover so that we have the correct proportions we have a little bit of problem over here the image and the text are not centered so let's add display of flex over here to our mission division and we'll also align items to the center all right now everything is working all right so that's basically it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your wordpress websites so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day